Am I right in saying that um, Formula One is a data-driven sport? Yes, totally. When I first started in Formula One, there was probably something like 15 sensors on the car. Uh, now it will run happily even during a Sunday race with like 300 sensors on the car. Yes. And from that 300 sensors, mm -hmm. um, you know, you're often generating something like 5,000 data channels. Um, so you know, 5,000, yeah. you know, um, fused data channels. And then from that, you can, you can generate literally, you know, hundreds of thousands of, of, of inferred channels. So, you know, what we're always trying to do is we're always trying to measure the unmeasurable um, and trying to understand more and more in depth, you know, more and more at first principles and more and more in depth at, at a greater level of detail about the vehicle, the team, whatever it is. So we use data to drive every decision in, in Formula One. You know, it would be unheard of that somebody would just come and say, it's my opinion that the car shape should look like this, so let's do that. Everything is driven um, by the very, very simple and clear mission of trying to build a fast Formula One car. In Formula One, it's really simple, right? Um, it's, it's just about how fast you can make your Formula One car. And can you make it faster than anybody else? Um, so, you know, there's, there's a, it's, it, it is a culture of, of being data driven and it is very, very objective. And, 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 and that is something that I very much enjoy, actually, because it keeps you on your toes. You know, you can't just say, you know, in my, opinion. In my <laughs> opinion, you know, I think I'm the cleverest person in the room. I'm going to make this because someone will come back and go, well, the numbers don't say that. So what do you?